Can you describe to someone that has no idea even what a Huey is, what it's like to fly in one of these things? America. There are certain days that I, I'm flying around and I go, wow, I can't believe I, got, I, I get paid to fly helicopters. But we're pretty stringent on how we, we expect people to act, how they're maintain, like their maintenance practices. Because if your car broke down, you pulled to the side of the road. With these helicopters, everything has to work or the aircraft falls out of the sky. It's nerve wracking just to know that like this bird is gonna go fly and you literally just told the pilot that you can go fly and you will come back safe. And like four to six, however many people are flying in that bird, their lives are in my hands. I'll tell you, every time I've seen a, a, a fatality or, of an aircraft, the maintainers hit it the hardest because they're always going, what did I miss? When 469 was here and they crashed that bird in Nepal, one of my best friends was on that aircraft. So it's not a lack of how we train or how maintenance is done. It's just one of those things that, you know, is uncontrollable, really. Everyone that does this job, especially in aviation, knows the importance, how you fit into the puzzle of making an aircraft fly, and no one takes that lightly. And these 18 and 19 year old, I guess in the civilian world, they'd be called kids. But these, these are adults that understand that, hey, if I don't do this job right the first time, the pilot and the crews are gonna pay the price. In avionics, we're working on a job, and maybe close it to That is now a different job. Is that Oh, I will say these guys are working uh, anywhere from 14 to 16 hours a day. I mean, they're coming into work a little early. They're here by 6, 6.30. Uh, they're leaving 1,800, 1,900 every night. We have uh, two shifts. So we have a day crew and a night crew, and they're both working pretty much nonstop uh, just because some of the maintenance on these is, is extremely time intensive. We come out as a pilots. We just do that the overall pre-flight of the aircraft. When something's wrong, they're the ones we go to and be like, hey, what, what's going on? If you look at a helicopter, how many things have to work perfectly for that thing to actually fly? These guys do an outstanding job. So without them, we can't go out and support any mission that we are assigned. Uh, the HADR missions, like the ones in Nepal. But what I say is I can't do my job. I can't do anything that I do without the blood, sweat, and tears of these guys. And they, they just, they kick ass.